Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Bear with me tonight. I'm not sure where we're going. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, what about what, what was it called? Basics uh, tonight. Okay. Uh, let's go over just, uh, can you see my little man here? Uh, just sitting and we'll just settle a bit. Okay. Now, one trick, uh, there are forces to create, uh, that are in and back. I'm for that. I'm, I'm going to use an up in and a down back beat. We could set that beat up different ways, but uh, just to make it easier uh, in the human condition. Uh, okay, so for example, if I were sitting and I want to settle down, I want to quiet down, calm down. Uh, if you're getting a strong push, an upward push, uh, then it may be a little more difficult at first. Uh, some people might be already in a uh, pull and settling down is a little bit easier for, for them. So knowing where you're at so you can deal with it. For example, if you're running into a push, uh, one trick I use is not to be too small tight because uh, that push really hits it to try to settle open. So settling sense of opening a little more room a little more room facilitates that the pushing energy can start to flow through it really doesn't want to push you but if you're too small it will try not to take it too personal it's, it doesn't hate you it just feels like it sometimes <laughs> okay so settling down recognizing if there is a push to add that opening Settle, find your own words, easy, opening, so that the up energies can begin to flow a bit better through the system, okay? Uh, for those of you who are uh, in a down uh, pull, this, this should be pretty easy, Just ease, settling down. Again, you might also open, you people who are on a down one, uh, so that you can start to move into a finer dimension. So it's not just uh, a deeper for deep. After a while, the uh, moving down or up, if you would, uh, we infer there's a finer dim dimension. So we don't stay on the same trajectory. Uh, I'm Whichever one I'm playing with, by opening, I'm inferring there's a finer dimension. Eventually, okay, that should show. Ah, uh, settling down. Now, some people might think, well, what should I think about to settle down? Uh, don't think. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Or don't highlight thinking. See, let me think. Uh, you remember this guy, oh, let me think about it. Uh, he doesn't facilitate settling down, okay? Uh, easy, hush, settle, a sense of opening. Uh, one trick you might use also is the breathing. As my breathing gets a bit better, meaning fuller, easier. That can help give me a sense of settling, that I am settling. How do I know I'm settling? Well, the breathing is getting a little fuller, a little uh, more balanced. The breathing itself is yeah, easier, longer with itself. That clues me in that I'm settling. Um, if you need other references, uh, use the tangible ones at first. Uh, how do I know I'm settling? Okay, stop thinking, start feeling. Feel your butt on the chair, or if you're sitting on a cushion, uh, feel your butt on that cushion. 
And then after a while, easy, settling, moving from calm to eventual calmness. I said something with those words. Did you catch it? For example, I'm, I'm calm or I'm not calm. Yeah, okay. But I'm talking about an eventual calmness, a field of calmness, uh, maybe a whole dimension that majors in calmness, an energy vibration that itself is calmness. Okay. Uh, I'll try to remember. I want to bounce those, uh, some of the other words back and forth like, like that. Okay. So calm, fine, calm, nest. So, butt on the chair, when you can actually begin to feel that, it means you're more here, okay? That clues me in a bit. I'm not up here thinking about sitting or getting calm or whatever. I can feel my seat on the chair. As I continue, easy, open, continuing the settling. I'm feeling my feet on the floor. Okay. And I'm feeling the flatness. It feels a, like a fairly, fairly full touch. I haven't noticed that. And I continue with feeling. Now, each one of those can trigger, what should we call that? A, a signal. Let's say I'm feeling my butt on the chair. A signal, something. Uh, goes from that experience to I. Oh, I'm aware of that. What should I do about that? Should that be happening? Okay. And even a little bit worse to continue along that trajectory where you become aware of it and you almost want to turn and look. Okay. So every time there's an experience, there is this possibility of a trajectory trajectory. So uh, C, possibility of a true trajectory. So I just come right back to continue to feel the C. Then it's suddenly feet. I can feel the feet are flat on the floor. Uh, bing, a message is going about that. And I pass on it, come back to experiencing the feet on the floor, experiencing, different than thinking about. Okay. As you continue, easy settling. The breathing's catching my attention again. The breathing, I don't know, feels calmer. It's just a, it's just an easiness, easiness about the, the breathing. So that clues me in that I'm settling more. I'm being more present. Ah, present. I'm present, I'm here, okay. yes, and and into presence, presence, like a field or whole strata of presence, being in the here and now, actual, okay? So there's the idea, and then there's one more better move or notch or experience, so present to presence. So somebody says, I'm present, sir. To his drill sergeant doesn't mean he has presence okay so can you sort of catch the difference between the words uh fun around some time uh this week if you want with a uh, find your own a word but i'm present and then easy easy there's this field if you would this dimension if you would this vibration rate if you would that's presence or calmness or whatever word. So where are we settling? Present. Again, that sense of opening. Um, I'm getting a faint sense of descending down, just a, just a light sense. So I allow that sense again. Oh, that's a different experience. Let me think about that. Okay. That's always a possibility. Every time something shows, uh, 
that that signaling, I haven't come up with a word for that yet, but that message to this center here uh, is unnatural. I just don't take that trip anymore. Or I notice it's going, I go, that's nice, back to this. And as fast as possible, I come back to, to the experience, okay? Ah, so down. Um, so I'm, I'm getting this down settling, uh, scent as if I'm actually moving down. Your experience is your experience. As long as it's sort of in the same neighborhood because we're all settling, uh, quieting down, calming down. Okay. So your wording, your sense might be different, but you got to know we're, we're playing in the same ball field here. Okay. Now, for example, uh, this down settling, you run into uh, some sense of a floor or a stopping point. Again, your own form of it, uh, mine uh, uh, tends to be floors, but there are other forms. Anything that says, okay, you've gone down far enough, floor. And I, and I, oh, let me think about a floor. I just sort of felt it. Remember, the signal got shot again. Back to the floor, experiencing settling, settling. <sighs> Sense of a floor or a certain level. Then that level becomes my um, support ground. And from that level, energies are moving up and down and those energies are mixing up a better character i am not the idea of a character not the imagination of a character it's an inner sense experience if it's imagination it's an inner experiential imagination we have to make up words because we don't quite have the words for some of these things okay uh and we'll do a simple uh, physical test thing again to remind you. So settling down, opening, and you'll hit a certain level. Uh, hang out at that level as if you're feeling that level. And I might sort of feel around on that floor, whatever form you're, you're getting that, get a, a sense of it. And when I say feel, I don't mean physical feeling. It's getting a little finer. It's a sense feeling. Now, because of that sense feeling, there may be a, a reciprocating, I, just may, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, feeling through the body where the body itself feels something. Okay, okay, that's fine. But my sense feeling it tends to be a little bit finer. Okay. If I can't feel it physically, I still trust my sense feeling. I say that all right? From that floor or level, energies up and down, mix up a character. Character is experience, character I, I am, not I, I am. Uh, with the sense that if I'm, uh, okay, if I'm, I'm at a calm floor, uh, a sense is that that's so that character is so fully present in that dimension, in that vibration realm, that anyone with an eye seeing him would say, oh, look how calm that person is. Okay, that, that sense of it, that's not an idea. If I have an idea of being calm and somebody looks at me, they're not going to see calm. I don't care, I'll clear my idea. They're not going to see it. So that sense of calm, calmness. That's virtually seen, okay? And that might be the time your cat jumps on your lap or does something uh, to acknowledge. I'm sure some of you have had an experience like that where you get to a certain state and your animal reacts a certain way. That's when they jump off or jump on or something. They do something. Anyway, different story. So settling, opening. Use your own words, quieting down. 
<sighs> you're entering a different realm. So even there was a bit of a dimensional change. Uh, so not a major, but it's, it's important to get uh, the simple dimensional changes because they'll bring you and you'll get the tricks of the trade and they'll bring it to a finer changes of dimension. So don't sell the simple ones short. Don't disregard them. It's very important. If you get a, whatever, if you, I'm gonna say something brilliant, like if you get an inch and the flavor for how you got that inch, you're pretty damn close to being able to do 12 inches. <laughs> Okay, all the same tricks are there. Uh, the patterns kind of just repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, so be very clear on how you got to your first level, and you'll understand a lot about how to moving, move on to your second level or finer dimension. Okay, so where are we going to go with that? Hmm. I, I think I told you. Uh, a couple of weeks ago or something, I mentioned I noticed a driving and noticed a lot of other drivers weren't driving very well. I I noticed that I wasn't as aware if I had a, a, a stop sign and there are other cards coming up that I, I sort of couldn't tell who was first and who was second. And I, I just wasn't aware. Uh, and I thought about that. And what came to me playing with that was there's a lot of downtime going on, right? Corrupt down. The majors in downtime. And that in a downtime for me to drive, it's almost like I'm sleepy. I'm just not aware. I'm not alert. Uh, so a quick trick following this pattern here. Settle down a bit to another floor. Hey, I need energies. So I can be a more alert driver. So it's just a quick trick changing from my downtime to wake up and hit, hit a floor. From that floor, energies are mixing up a fairly alert driver. So I, at that time, I wasn't the best driver or at my best, but I was more alert. I was more alive. I felt safer. I saw the other cards. I could time them and judge them and stuff like, like that. So... Uh, just to hit a little bit different level, tap a little pool of energy, uh, instead of saying a dimension or strata or uh, energy field, a little pool of juice. Hey, mixes, not an idea. Mixes, breathe it, inhale it, move it a bit, exaggerate that. I call up uh, some of my students heard me many times use the word slurpy. I just <laughs> slurp this stuff up to be involved and to partake of it. Okay. And then I could try. So that settled to a certain point. And what's the similarity between the two stories here? We went calm and settled, easy, open, and we hit a little floor. And from that floor, the energy mix up a bit better and makes up character. Because we were talking about easy and calm, here that brought us into a vibration rate dimension of calmer vibration. There's no, 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 vibration, and there's no, 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 and there's no, 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 vibration. So brought us to a calmer level of vibration. And that energy mixing creates a person who will probably move calmer, okay? appear calmer, probably speak calmer, <laughs> whatever, okay? Uh, deal with your crazy children bouncing off the walls these days, calmer, okay? Uh, so are we okay so far Did that pattern? Check in with Katya. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we're talking about push and pull energies. Oh, ah, push and pull energies. There ain't to say about that. Okay. Uh, let's go over the basics there. So, uh, 
someplace at the beginning of creation, uh, in a form, in a certain way, uh, pushed in, and all of that is all coming back to its original spot. And then again, boom, it goes out again. If you come, is, is that okay? That just that boom, boom? Uh, probably related to those senses, echo, uh, probably related to a great breathing pattern. Not I breathe, but a great breathing pattern. Uh, probably been mentioned in a variety of religions or inner work development, that pulsation. Uh, okay, so the way I like to approach it for being in a human condition is to have it beat up and beat down. Okay, uh, now I can't expect us to do the full universal of it. That's just um, information to give you a sense of how it works in a lesser dimension, in a human condition dimension. It's still working the same way. There's a push and there's a pull. That's why there's uh, out there anxiety and uh, downtime. That's why that exists, because it's based on a more original push and pull that pushes and pulls through every dimension. Okay. Uh, one reason I want to move into, in like in settling into a finer dimension, is because uh, then all of that moves back and comes out even better. So there's this trade in for a newer model. Is I think that's an okay way of saying it. Uh, we take everything of the old car, <laughs> okay, downtime with it settle with it and it gets to the uh what's the car sales place called uh well i'm asking a swiss person that has a uh the car dealership <laughs> this old car fully everything fully is brought into the dealership and there it's traded in and a newer model car comes out <laughs> Speaking of touch over here. Uh, so that sense of push pull uh, is big time, big time. Now, again, don't try to be too brilliant and do it big time. Just get the feel of it at even this first human condition level, uh, even this level of where, oh, I'm not driving very well. And I take that and I set it down a bit to a little bit next level. And the energy is mixing up, mixed up a more alert, better driver. Okay, so practice in some of the small ways. So you get the a flavor of it. You get the sense, experience it, sense, feel it. Your ability of mixing up a clearer actual character, it's not just an idea, all right, uh, to actually activate, actually ah, experience, okay? Uh, it's one reason we do Aikido instead of just doing pure philosophy. Well, Sensei said he could have done that. He told me I'd have more students. I'd be more recognized, but they're going to miss something very important. So he couldn't go there. He had to continue uh, with this actual experience of, so that we didn't get one-sided, all idea and no <laughs> The real meaning of mind-body harmony. I think most people think of mind-body harmony as I think, therefore that's my mind, and here's my body. And I don't think much of that, by the way, anyway. Uh, that's not mind-body harmony as a sense he would use it. It refers to a great mind partnering with a great bunch of stuff that we call body, but it's not body, it's a great bunch of stuff, the actual uh, <laughs> ingredients, okay? Uh, 
Anyway, I don't want to go too much into the beginning of creation, but because that's how it works, we're affected by that here, and we can take advantage of, of that, right? Um, let's see, I wanted to do a little test for some reason. Did I finish with this? this pulsation. And again, to we've gone over this one time. To know where you are in the seasonal pull, pull push of things. Uh, I could be very active. Uh, I don't know if Moon's on tonight. He had to go out for a drive, but uh, but where he'd be, let's say, involved in Aikido really strongly, and then he'd back off and he'd be involved uh, in music. Okay. So it was time for the cycle to change from whatever to whatever, and to recognize those those cycles in your own system as best as you can, uh, so that if you've been writing up a storm and doing very well, and suddenly the paper's blank, you you can't come up with anything. If you hang out with that, uh, you'll feel oh, it's a change of subjects something else is up okay the i'm going to get carried away into that but it's okay we're going over basics uh the aikido people especially the teachers with a dojo or who used to have a dojo sorry uh, uh be careful of hanging on to uh but that's what i do that's who i am well, you don't have a dojo anymore. And you don't know when you're going to have a dojo or if you're going to have a dojo. Uh, yeah, I, I hear the concerns, but look what's happening. I identified myself as this, and suddenly it's a downtime. You're not allowed to have a dojo or attend it or draw anybody to it. Downtime to a new level finer dimension that mixes up a different character who's the character going to be i don't know you have to do it because we're all ind individual right uh so to recognize uh one your own seasonality uh to recognize if you're a writer when you suddenly run dry not to freak but wait there might be a, a, something else that you wanted to 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 do Maybe you want to get back to your guitar for a while or something, okay? Uh, and how long? I don't know. An hour? A day? A weekend? A month? Uh, you'd be able to tell the time of things, right? Uh, so we have our our own, uh, I'm looking for a word there. Changing. Cycles, cycle change, cycle change. Uh, okay, in my case, uh, uh, I did some writing for Oliver Stone. Ta -da! I did some writing for Oliver Stone. He referred to me as his uh, back, back burner writer. Uh, and uh, man, at that time, I was really just, just gushing out of me, uh, writing up a storm. Uh, and then eventually it just stopped. I couldn't think of anything to write about, didn't have the push to, to write. It just wasn't there anymore. Something else was coming up again. Okay. So to recognize yours, uh, to learn how to work with it, uh, to learn when not to commit suicide. Okay. Uh, because you're going to lose that identity. Uh, for uh, Bobby to trade in, I kind of lose, I kind of, Bobby kind of dies, and it's too harsh a word, dies, but in a certain way, he, he fades away because he's part of the trade in. So Robert can pick up everything Bobby experienced, and here it gets traded in for a better model. And I call him Robert. Robert eventually has to trade in. Same thing. He's going to have a little fear about losing himself and stuff. So do it 
and it's conscious that I mean consciously but do it intelligently uh, so you know where you are and you know what you're doing and you 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 practice so you catch the tricks of how to trade in and how to deal with uh, downtime sense or uh, or I'm losing it and I want to retain it uh, you know how to sort of let go uh, again back to the Aikido people you're hanging on to what? If you don't have your dojo anymore, if you quit your lease or whatever, uh, look how adamant we're hanging on to that. I want to get back to that. I want to. But if we don't do this properly, uh, the way the universe works, if you don't do this properly, then something else is going to come in to force us down. So I don't think this is the last punch you'll see in your lifetime. Okay. Uh, anyway, different discussion. Trade in, trade in, trade in. Yeah, let me do a standing one. Uh, you can stand with me if you'd like. Uh, can I sit down for you? Oh, uh, which one do I want to do? Uh, let me do the arm one. Uh, Showtime. <laughs> okay. Uh, have your invisible partner, right? Uh, right now, she's just holding with a faint amount of push or light push. Okay, just getting the flavor of it. Oh, one thing I could say here is I'm establishing a lineage. What am I doing? Why are we doing it? Oh, we're doing this. Okay. I settle. Open. What's happening? Energies are smart. They realize I'm on lineage. And up. A fuller character. And don't be there. Because your, your eye can. Take your time. I, I actually move like this. Just to get the sense of the flow of the energies. I'm mixing up down and around and up. And character is bred. Boom. <laughs> and I know what this is just, just this character said that was an improved model of arm sticker outer, whatever its name is. Okay? Anything about what you can feel here, by the way? To feel exactly the same? No, it's much more different. I have to go home with it. I have to okay. Go more. I have to go home with it. <clears throat> so. This guy in the assembly had more depth along with a stronger presence. Uh, my arm inside feels stronger. Hmm? Easy. This is internal work. I'm not uh, trying to do this external. Uh, this energy mix arm is not a sleeve. You can imagine, okay, it's conscious. It's not a sleeve. This is internal. And you might have a sense of thicker out here, but it's based on internal. Okay, I think people don't quite understand that. Okay, I say energy flow, and they, they come out here with the energy flow. And I don't know, it's inner. And as I go inner, it feels thicker, but I'm not trying to. Spin it out there. Right? The same. Yeah. One more. Easy. Settle. Open. I'm trading on forever's neck. I, I open. There's an inherent sense, of course, you want it to be better. But as you settle and open, the law is the energies are better. And so they're going to mix up better. And Wow. All right. And something's amusing or what? Well, it's just, yeah. It's just much, much more different and wider. And, um... So I didn't get wider, but this internal got wider, and she's sensing that wider of energy that's an internal wider. Okay. Right. 
Uh, people are sort of aware of auras. You see them in cartoons all the time. They must be sort of aware. It's sort of an aura from internal work. It radiates out. It manifests out. Uh, and some people have a sense of it. So uh, anyway, was that a basic simple again? The um, uh, trading in. Let's see. We've covered a few different things. Uh, one, using simple checks uh, and to take your time uh, to sort of like we're, feel the process, feel between one level to the next level how you settle and hang out with that sense experience of settling and how you open and get a better sense of that. Not a better idea, a better sense feeling. Make believe, hear the feeling, and and the energy is fuller. And mixing, or since it would say recreate yourself, well, we have to big jump. Uh, yes, he's correct. I <laughs> say, uh, but I want to keep it a little easier for the human condition. We'll remix ourselves now and then. I might say rebreed yourself, but sometimes I think that's too too big a a, a word jump. Uh, so Bobby trades in the energies make up a better robber. Right? He's a little bit stronger. He stands a little straighter. His voice projects a little clearer. Robert trades in. Boom. Next model starts because it's based on the law of everything that goes out comes back down and starts out anew again. That, that's what it's trying to do trying to bring everything from its heaviest back to an, an original oh, perfection, purity. Those, none of those words are right, but this original purity. <laughs> okay. Uh, so when I do my heavier dimensions and I open up, I'm starting to run a little bit finer level. And then I trade that one into another level, and that's finer, and that level. Uh, did I say that okay? Yeah. So we've got the trade in. Uh, the, again, I can't express the importance of mixing up a character. Okay. That I think oftentimes, uh, Katya, one, one more time. That oftentimes, if you want to stand with me, feel free. Um, uh, that where am I going here? Uh, then let me have an idea about it. Now I have an I'm gonna put a pressure now. I have an idea. Okay. And I was really up there into my idea. And my image up here was pretty damn clear, but it doesn't really sustain. Uh I have an idea. I understand better, fine. Boom. Energies heard that and are gathering and mixing and mixing this guy. He's a bit better. He's not perfect, but he's a bit better. Okay. Now, where do I want to go with this? Uh, careful of starting to think about it. Okay. Is it working? I see this happening all the time in I, you know, you show some experience, you help them into an experience, and they suddenly want to think about it. And of course, you can't sustain because you're not here anymore. You've shifted over to thinking about it or awareness about it. Arms I have read about throughout history. <laughs> and you really start to drift with it. Okay. And you lose the actual. Uh, so, one reason we do these double is to get you clear on the idea of it as opposed to the actual experience, take up residence of I, this, I be careful, I am. Uh, experientially, I am. I didn't say I was the best in the world, but I'm a little bit strong right now. Uh, can I sustain Katya? Yes. Could I sustain a 250 pound guy? No, I can just feel, no. So as you experience, you start to get honest, by the way. An ideal person would bullshit. Oh, yeah, I could take care of 250 pound guys. Don't bullshit me. 
they'll run you right over, you whip. <laughs> uh, so as you begin to actually experience it, there's also an honesty stop there. That says, ah, oh, pretty good, not great, but fair, fair. Okay, kind of thing. Thank you. Uh, so, lineage. Uh, whenever you're on a particular thing, we call it lineage, just a word uh, that we made, made up. Uh, so if you're playing music, you're on a music lineage or a violin lineage. Uh, Aikido, sometimes we break it up into uh, your Ikkyo lineage. Uh, if you're doing Shihonage for uh, 15 minutes or half an hour, you're on a Shihonage lineage. So you open up so it can remix a better Shihonage. Uh, as you, and as you get this inner sense of the mix, that'll help you from being pushed into doing a better uh, uh, that's too improper human. Let me come out here and do more. No, let me mix a better balance. It naturally does more or better comes out of that. And that's different than let me do it better. Uh, so again, one more time, Katja, uh, could you, could you exaggerate gathering my arm for potential? Entry sheet on I get go ahead, go ahead, walk, walk through one. Boom. And turn if you want. <laughs> she doesn't want <laughs> she gives me that look. Okay. Uh, now exaggerate that you're gonna grab me and push me. Now if you notice, she's starting to come out. There's beams coming out of here. Now I see those beams, but her center's not really involved. So I'm letting that go by and I'm working her center. So her added power screwed her up. <laughs> it made her weaker, not stronger. Although the heavy people uh, think they're getting stronger. They think, I'm getting stronger. And they don't realize uh, that there's starting to be weaknesses all over. That in, in, in being a bull, uh, they're wide open with other things. They don't catch that because they feel stronger. Okay. I would like a, a fuller mix, a fuller mix, a fuller mix, and then continue fuller mix. Where is where I think uh, well, Sensei was pointing us. Why are we losing it so much? Why are we? I don't know if I want to get into this conversation. Uh, why aren't we doing more inner work? Not just talking about being a nicer person. That's okay. It's okay, but is that it? Uh, you're going to tell me what a nice person you are, and I'm going to lie and tell you what a nice person I am. <laughs> uh, let's get a better change and see what that character does. Okay, uh, nothing wrong with talking about being a nicer person and stuff, but it can become tough, and it can become can even enter a bullshit realm. Uh, where you think you're nice, but nobody else does, or uh, you're killing people because you, you're you doing it out of nicety or something. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's get the actual, actual. So, let's stay out of that conversation. Uh, one problem, but back to that. One problem in the Aikido is, uh, especially in the early days, there was a lot of, attention on being centered or keeping one point. I don't remember about grounding. It was probably mentioned. Uh, and that was stressed a lot. And, and as soon as, uh, for me, as soon as I started to play with uh, uh, being centered, I was like, holy shit. That was a brand, and I was a jock. I'd been training in different things for years, but almost immediately just playing with being centered that was a whole different thing. I was like, wow. Okay, so where am I going with that? Oh, so I think in the early days, a lot of people touch some degree of inner and then they function better outer. And then it seems like they sort of forgot about this. They didn't want to go more and more and more finer and finer. Uh, they were starting to look good and be successful and they continued with outer 
and you don't hear as much about people on point or uh, um, uh, centering and stuff, uh, or how the energies flow through. Uh, just don't don't hear so much. So I think one problem in the human condition is some people touch a little bit better level and because they touch a little bit better level uh they function a bit better their golf game got a little bit better and now they're happy with a better golf game and they stay at that level with the normal little increments maybe uh and they forgot what it was that helped them be a better golfer uh, you see when i taught golf stuff uh in a certain way, I, I didn't care if about their golf game, in a certain way, I, like I could care less in a certain way. But I was hoping if I could uh, teach them centering or grounding, all this stuff, uh, and their golf game got better, as it did with Michael Murphy, uh, Golf in the Kingdom stuff, uh, that they would go, oh, what was that stuff? Let me go back to the centering, grounding, settling, opening thing. That that was my, I was using a better golf as a come on. Okay. Center, center, I'll make you a better golfer. Hoping that as they got to be a better golfer, they'd come back to, whoa, what was the centering stuff? And they would want to continue with real inner development real inner development uh so we lose a lot of people along the way because they're happy with I don't know, the candy bar as opposed to the uh hershey's factory <laughs> something like that something dumb like like that uh so again that's the human condition uh probably people watching this show one reason you're watching is because you're not really satisfied with your normal uh you have a sense that no there's more than this it's obtainable i just uh please give me some help in directing me but i know it exists is what i'm hearing uh and so i'm just trying to guide you i just point out directions and it's up to you to play with it and, and you inner finer dimensions move along with with you that's that's where we're uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, so, uh, anyway, it's sad when somebody touches a bit and then goes out and they do better, uh, but then they just continue to do better at that level. Uh, it's okay. It's better than doing worse, yeah? But there's so much more. I, I get a little bit sad because they don't go for the more. Uh, I'm not the only one. Oh, Sensei was sad about that, you know. Uh, tore them up. <laughs> uh, and you point out, uh, they said something about ranks, higher ranks. See if I can call the flavor of it. It's very hard when they reach certain level. I think he inferred this is the old days, fifth, sixth dawn. The old days. That's, that's a rank. That's a capability. Uh, where they reach that level and then they don't they don't continue they don't continue to develop that's when they just move off and he was but again yet the human condition i've got i've got so much invested i'm not going to trade that in because they don't know enough how it works see a lot of how they got better uh was uh, just by training, it would sort of naturally happen and, and something sort of naturally happen. But oftentimes you get the feeling they, they didn't have a click, click, click pattern. Uh, or sense it's hard to understand for things like pattern. I'm trying to make it easier for you. Uh, that when you get pretty good and you got a following and, uh, and, and oh, I got a maid, uh, to take that and to trade that in for whatever may be next and to see and experience and be the next one. Uh, if you don't have down how the trade in works, you're not likely to do that. You're not going to let go of 
of your success, so to speak. You know, I've got so many dojos under me. Whoa, you know, uh, I'm recognized. Whoa, now to take that and trade it in, uh, you got to kind of know how it works. So that's why I, I try to get you to practice in the early stages of uh, having an experience and then trading it in, settling down with the sense uh, moving into a little bit finer dimension. It doesn't mean anything fantastic, just whatever's next. And, ooh, that's a bit better. And to take that one and trade in Mr. Better, or Miss Better, as the case may be, and, and boom, boom. So that's why I try to do these at the simple level so you can see how it works so that hopefully as you get uh, uh, more famous or richer or stronger or whatever, uh, that you you won't mind trading it in because you've done it before and it always works out great. You've got that game down pretty well. Okay? Uh, if Alan is watching, Alan, see, I still got to figure out how to, uh, next time we're in a dojo together, or maybe you can drop by sometime. Uh, we have to trade in all of your speed. Alan, who's fast? We have to trade him in and see what the next major step, because Alan, he's damn fast, people. Yeah, you know, he's fast. And I have a sense that he can't physically get any faster. Uh, he enjoys being fast. Uh, you can see it. It's just he's happy to be in fast. Uh, but he's starting to reach his limit, or he will reach his limit. He wants to move on. So... We're going to have to play with him on how do we trade uh, fast Allen and all the speed he's got in this field around him, so to speak, and trade that in for whatever may be next. Now, I don't know if next will show as faster, but he'll be on lineage. So it suddenly won't be dead ass, slow, dormant. It's impossible, impossible. It'll be the next level, and for him, it's sort of a major one, uh, 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 next level of whatever is past normal, obvious speed. So I don't know. I can guess, maybe surmise, but I don't know. We're going to have to do it. He's going to have to do it. My, my sense might be it'll be something like uh, he's here, and bing, suddenly he'll be there. Uh, almost magical. Almost like, oh, shit, man, where'd you go? Yeah, have a little, that's my sense. I don't know. That's my, my sense. Uh, uh, but, Alan, one of these days, we've got to get together, cover this. It'll be fun. Anyway, where are we? Uh, settling. Recognizing downtime. Recognizing when you're, when you're, uh, again, don't have the words, goes click, and you're happy and effective, and suddenly it goes, Black. Uh, to recognize that, try not to free, try to be more open for what this next mix is. Okay? And if you play with it, you might even see certain patterns in your life where, my God, that's right. I played music for three months and then I put my guitar down and I did something else for three months and then, oh, the guitar came back or whatever, whatever. If you kind of play with your history, you might, you might see a pattern there okay ah uh, so push and pull as based on an original movement to create uh, and in the push and pull we have the ability of shifting from this heavier dimension we're in to settle open whatever many ways of doing it into a finer dimension Okay. And as you start to get the game better, you're able to move from there and shift, come up with your own word, shift, whatever, into a finer dimension. And after a bit, uh, you, the potential is where you can move into the finest flow. Uh, we're talking about sensei level plus here. So, uh, but we should head that way. That's the way the creation is set up. If we ignore this, uh, 
I don't want to go into negative stuff, but we ain't finished hurting. Uh, uh, I like being physical. I like being a human. Uh, but there's also some tough stuff, some bad stuff sometimes. And I don't know if I want to keep coming in and out. I mean, you live in Marin. Oh, what do you got to worry about? But but I remember lifetimes of uh, getting whopped. Uh, not not good stuff. Uh, imagine you don't live in Marin. Imagine you were born in uh, Ethiopia or whoever's killing each other these days and starving and whatever. Uh, so one way out of this is that we move into finer and finer and finer and finer. Uh, Okay, where the hell are we? I don't know where we're at. Ooh, we blow an hour already. Jesus. I was wondering about next week because next week, Sunday, there is a Zoom, a CAA, California Aikido Association, meeting, a little training uh, on Zoom. Okay, a little training, and then a, a meeting discussion. Uh, so some, uh, Katja has mentioned to me, why don't I take a break next Friday? And in one sense, because I'm on again for a bit Sunday. And one sense is, yeah. Another sense is we got a good pattern going. If I start changing the pattern, maybe, uh, you'll change your pattern. And I'd like to keep the ball rolling if you want to keep it rolling. So. Uh, so what I was wondering about is, what do you think about uh, next Friday? Uh, we do a more open discussion or questions or uh, observations, and 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 we'll we'll see. Do you think, Sensei? This is Lauren. I think that's yeah. uh, th uh, we can do that easily uh, if you'd like, and. Uh, just encourage try people it. to uh, uh, have more discussion with you. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. As you wish, no problem. Yeah. Easy to do. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. I Somebody. think we're getting positive messages that everyone is also with you in terms of maintaining the pattern. So you said maintain the pattern, right? Yeah, that everyone is supportive of what you said about maintaining the pattern. Okay. And and another one that just said, you know, I'm with you, whatever you want to do. And that's okay. always okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, I love those. I'm with you, whatever you want to do. Yes. <laughs> you make my job easy. Uh, that's that's our uh, job. Okay. So, so Sensei, uh, I think, yeah. again, it's easy to do. And uh, okay. uh, uh, let's plan on that for next Friday at the regular time. Okay. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, and if you spark anything of interest, maybe I can lay it out clearer for you or something. So whatever, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Uh, also, if you're shy to mention your name because uh, your question is so off the wall, uh, don't worry about mentioning your name. Just say, "Hey, I want to turn and jump, jump in." Okay, just in case you're shy and you don't want the world to know who you are, uh, you can forego the name. Uh, what do we do tonight? We take two minute, three minute break and then any questions? Is that what we yes. do now? Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. Okay. So if, uh, whenever yeah. you're ready. Okay. I had more things to cover, but of course that I was zoomed by. Uh, we went over some main things, I hope. What I was trying to do is say them different, maybe present them a little bit different. And even though it's stuff you've heard before, maybe you heard it different, maybe a uh, different word that impacted different. That's, that's what I was hoping. Okay, let's take uh, three. Three minutes, three. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. And so everyone, uh, three minute break. Uh, Sensei will be back for uh, fireside chat. It's hot as a fire here in Northern California today. So it's appropriate. Uh, get a cold drink if you want, or uh, get ready with questions or comments. Uh, 
and uh, uh, the text is open if you want to. Uh, the uh, text text uh, channel is open if you uh, want to say anything about next week, but it looks like we're going to go ahead uh, next week with uh, a more conversational uh, session with Nado Sensei. Uh, let's see. And uh, everybody can chat openly, publicly or privately, gossip, pass messages, whatever you'd like. And uh, I hope that everybody saw the chat message I put up uh, earlier, that uh, we're uh, uh, happy to accept uh, voluntary donations to Nado Sensei, and I uh, put a link up where people can donate. And also, uh, we'd like you to reach out to your friends and to people on your social media channels or social media friends to um, uh, come and join us for these uh, weekly classes if you think they're interested. I betted another link, uh, which will get them onto the mailing list. And, uh, and then uh, they don't have to do anything except get the invitations and decide to join. Hi, let me know when you're ready. Okay, very good. And Ken, uh, Sensei is ready. If you could uh, drop the screen share. And here we are. Hello, Hello. Sensei. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Uh, here, I thought you'd go for uh, something over the rocks tonight. Ah, uh, good idea. God, it was hot down here today. Whoa. And, uh, it's going to stay hot for the next few days, apparently. Um, I hear it was as hot in San Francisco as it was out here in Nicasio. So, oh, you know, God. We went to the beach. It was hot there. <laughs> and I just, I just wanted to say about the cruising in Marin, we just lost power. And not only that, I have slow internet speed, okay? It's tough out here. Okay. Um, anybody? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to shout out to anybody who has a question or a comment for Nado Sensei. Please just yeah. speak up. Observation, question, uh, something you're musing on will muse along with you. If there's nothing, I'm free to go drink my wine alone. So. This is Eugene. I have an observation. It's not necessarily a yeah. question. So as I was following you during the class, I kind of settled down and I felt pretty good about this and was deeply settled. And then all of a sudden I, I was called because I needed to help urgently outside of this room. And I kind of stopped for about a second and a half uh, just to set to a different type of energy, different type of need. And I was very surprised that when I did what I was asked to do, I actually felt really, really good and very calm. And there was no rush and no kind of, I've been interrupted feeling. It was very, very wow. nice. So, it, okay. yeah, cool. So it sounded like, cause you were in uh, this uh, uh, better vibe of calmness that even though you got called up and out and you needed some extra input, but so you had the energy for whatever you had to do. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of that calmness Stayed present in that sound, like what you said. Yes, uh, yeah. and cool. I, I was able to switch, and I retained this the same calmness, which was very, very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I like to play little games, make up some games, just to feel these these uh, uh, changes, and to study the changes a little finer. 
a lot of people have done these things, you, you know, have settled before they've done something. And because they've settled, they, they do it better and they notice they do it better, but sometimes they're not clear on what they did. That uh, they're not clear on that they settled or uh, how they settled or what they experienced as they were settling to then count. So they have some, they kind of notice it, but they don't really go into the details about it. Um, yeah. So that's why, in fact, tonight I asked the people, to, don't be in a rush here, slow it down, stretch it out a bit. They really want people to, to feel how these things are developing. Uh, don't you say, oh yeah, it's mixing up character. Here I am. Uh, no, uh, you don't do it quickly up here. Uh, some sense of, of, I mean, when I say play slurpy, I really mean it. I really, ah, I really play a game of energies are coming up and down and mixing up a character. Hey, I really, I really play it. Okay. Uh, I think if you could see Osensi, you'd be surprised how, how much he moved around, not on his technique, but on his uh, setting up on his uh, uh, lining up to the universe or whatever. Uh, he moved around a lot as part of his process. Uh, anyway, somebody. Sensei, Linda Eskin here. Good evening. Hey. Um, I just wanted to thank you for the way you shared the idea of not hanging on to, not being attached to letting go of of your dojo, your writing, whatever it is at the moment. Um, for me, yeah. it's it's been my writing, uh, which I finally have time to do, and is it's not uh, coming through like I'd like. Uh, quantity, yeah. yes. Quality, not so much. And what I found coming up tonight, even as I was taking notes and in my listening, was um, poetry, which is something I haven't visited in a while. So maybe I'll play with that for a bit. I wonder, uh, Linda, if if uh, you said quantity, not quality. I wonder if you're writing a, something, a paragraph or some of what, whatever you're writing, uh, and it's not quite, it's not quality, it's quantity, uh, that you stop right there and you use that as a lineage, that you settle and open uh, you're on a writer lineage, you settle and open some sense that finer dimension and in the finer dimension on that lineage will mix up a better writer, whatever that means. Uh, and you do a, a couple of those, either a couple of levels or, or for some minutes, uh, and then go back to what it is you're trying to write and see if that does anything. You see, I'm just telling you to do yeah. the same thing writing that I would ask you to do on doing Ikkyo. Okay, thank you. Yes, I, that totally didn't the occur to me. I'll pattern. play with that. Well, yes. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm going crazy here on Friday saying, how can I get this across? It's the same damn pattern. But we sort of forget how uh, all-encompassing it is. <laughs> how, how universally wanna... applicable it is. <laughs> Yeah, you want to punch somebody, settle down, open up, energies mix, boom, you got a better punch. You want to write better, settle down, open up, mixes up a writer, and you write a bit better. Uh, you want to love somebody more, settle down, open up, be a more loving character. Uh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> thank you, Sensei. I'm looking forward yeah, to playing you. with that. That'll be an interesting yeah, practice. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> I will. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Da -da, that it? We finished what? Well, Sensei, I've got one. This is Lauren. Uh, you talked tonight about the importance of, of uh, acknowledging the situation and letting go, not holding on to this is who I am and this is what I do, but to adapt and to let that go and to settle and go down and then come out with the new, the new thing. And I really get that. And it's seems really timely for our our era right now. Yeah. But 
it seems scary. <laughs> Go ahead. It seems to me though that there's also a time to persevere, to hold on to what is core and not to give up. And it's like yeah. it's like the Kenny okay. Rogers okay. song. You, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold yeah. them. Yeah, that's, that's that's part of it. So if you do a proper mix and that character is the say centered, okay, centered centered as a character. Uh, uh, that character will probably have some, what word are we using? Not endurance, what word? Persevere, perseverance. Persevere. Uh, perseverance, when he begins to fade, which could happen, then he should know what's happening and know how to repeat the process again. If yes. in settling down, opening up, if he starts to get pushed because the energies are more than he's opening to, and he recognizes his perseverance, perseverance is becoming, I don't know what perseverance would become, uh, overly pushy something out there. Stub stubborn stubborn resistance. You got to catch that. So I wanted to bring that up tonight. I couldn't quite fit, fit it in, but doing this, uh, uh, this beat practice, that in the middle of that beat, there is a, a bass, floor, centered, mixed character. And, and that, that's a character that goes to work. Uh, um, and to recognize that when he's running out or if he's being drawn back, oh, okay, it's time to go down, whatever, whatever, to remix and ba ba boop. Uh, so to have more awareness of how it works, more, uh, yeah, more, in, uh, more awareness of how it works so we can, I don't want to say work it, work with it intelligently and and uh, more quickly, eventually, don't worry about the word speed right now, we're uh, 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 eventually quicker with it in the sense that, oh, sensei was damn fast, not in speed, in his ability of going from this old man to Uyashiba of Aikido. Uh, whoa, he was fast. Uh, so we know that that exists. Uh, and to be better at doing it fuller, uh, catch the difference between uh, my awareness of this character as opposed to this character boom okay uh so uh so yeah play and practice and and pick up the tricks of the trade and really make those your own and uh, keep uh, oh since i would say keep polishing yourself keep keep doing this to see how polishing works didn't mean to stay at a safe level of Bobby and polish Bobby the asshole. Uh, that'd be a major misunderstanding. Uh, but this natural settling and opening, whether you're talking about clearing or playing uh, dimensional finer games, whatever, whatever, in there with all of that, the uh, the true self uh, has a chance to mm, express its presence, elusive as hell. This original self, very elusive. Uh, but anytime you get balance, uh, he's got a little more room to start to sort of express himself, itself. Yeah, went off on that. Somebody, something? No problems in the world out there? All's well? Yeah, since uh, this is Andreas, I have a question about qualities. About what? Qualities. qualities. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the quality that I'm questioning right now is uh, morality. How do you, morality, how would you define morality? Uh, it's not one of my normal words. No, I'm an no, immoral no. son of a bitch. <laughs> my Bobby is immoral as hell. Uh, those of you who hang with me should know that. Fortunately, I can move into a finer dimension of self. Uh, yeah, I, I don't use the word. I'm not sure how you're thinking about the word. It's just a word right now. So I, I sort of don't know what to do with it because I really don't know the fuller meaning of it. Also, I don't know how you are using it, what your sense of it is. Uh, why don't you take that word and use that as a lineage word and you sit with it. Sit first level, what your thoughts about, what your sense, feeling, thoughts about, morality then you da, 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 and you, you file those notes away so to speak and then you continue to settle open 
with the sense of moving into a finer dimension and at a finer dimension, what's your sense of that word? So I'm telling you to play essentially a one by two by three by game, right? You know the game, right? You know the game? Hello? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that at one by, you have a certain sense of that word. At a two by, your sense of that word is a bit different or a lot different. In a three by, it's quite different again. So why don't you sit with that word as your lineage and you in some form, one by two by three by, or settle open, sensing finer dimension and a finer dimension and a finer dim dimension. And at each one, uh, uh, get your feeling about that word. So you'll be able to tell me the, uh, the history of that word, the original purity of that word. Uh, before it became congested into the human condition. Uh, okay, your practice. Because I, I, I don't know anything about that word. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, hey, somebody, Bob, something? Bob, it's yeah? Catherine here. Um, I have a hey. couple of examples for you. Um, I have always taken to heart what you teach. So uh, when I need to be Catherine, the workshop presenter, then I go through the process of bringing together the energies um, and, and like checking the universe. What, what do these folks need to know? What do they need to learn? What is mine to teach them? Uh, and then I'll put a different hat on, uh, Catherine the consultant, and I'll get a request, yeah. which put, yeah. put a bid in and again, I wouldn't even think of starting to put together a proposal without moving from little Catherine who goes, what, I have to do what? I don't, I don't see how, you know, to, okay. You have to, yeah. Yeah. No, that, yeah. You have to do that to function better or properly. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's, uh, and so that's nice in that it gives you extra practice time <laughs> uh, and uh, make your job easier or you produce better. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go back to the first thing you said, though. Uh, I couldn't quite tell how you're using the words, but remember the, uh, you use the word assemble the energies or something. Uh, I'm not sure I remember what I said. You said something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that catches me a little bit. Uh, uh, because I want to make sure people aren't like, I've got to figure out how to present better. Oh, right. Uh, right. Yeah, that uh, you, you can lay out the thing I have to present. And if you want to add more details, they're all older white guys running the world or whoever. Right, exactly. I just threw in a political joke there. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but you don't have to overdo it because the energies, whatever, loose term they're very smart and they already kind of know what's coming up this used to su surprise me that i would be open for a quality in the morning and just there it was and for no particular reason the quality i need can there be this thing they'd be like huh that's interesting and then later in the day 4 p.m or something suddenly something would be happening where this was a beautiful quality to have as part of my system mm. That I and after a while, you say, Holy shit, this stuff is magic! <laughs> it can fire, see, and and what's coming up, so to speak. I have to look at it that way because that, that used to happen more than once. Uh, so anyway, I, I trust the intelligence of the system. I don't want to stand there in an eye level and tell it what to do. What does Bobby know about anything? He's an idiot, mm -hmm. you know. Bobby's going to tell. The great forces of the universe, what to do and how to be? I don't think so. <laughs> Unless your idea of your Bobby is like, oh, I'm fantastic. Well, then you go for it. But, uh, but anyway, so that's, for me, part of trusting. So I think it's good to be clear uh, about what you're getting into. But again, not that yet. I don't think you have to overdo it. I'm not saying you are. I'm just, you brought that up, so I'm bringing this up. Uh, 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 
so a certain amount of clarity, but then be open for for what it how it wants to present and how it wants to mix. Because uh, Bobby can't really call the shots. Uh, if there's going to be, if I'm settling down and opening up to Robert, I can't have Bobby tell Robert how to be. Robert supersedes Bobby. Uh, and Nado far supersedes Bobby. Uh, and, and Bobby can't be telling these other levels what to do. Bobby might get a preview like in a movie of something coming up and then as he opens, oh, lo and behold, there, there it is. But if it happened, Bobby got a preview. Doesn't mean Bobby should misunderstand and tell the finer uh, dimensions uh, how to be and what to produce. Uh, I was talking to a guy who does a uh, similar kind of work to what we're doing here and, and uh, overseas. And uh, he was talking about, and the way he worded it was like he was, uh, like he was, I, now I want this quality and that quality and that quality to be there. And uh, I said, okay, but I don't do it that way. I, I open and say, hi, what's good for me today? Or what do you guys, you kind of know the problem I'm involved in. What do you guys want to do? What do you want to make? And I trust that. And, and then he said to me, oh, yeah, you're very good at doing that. And I thought, but sure as shit, the next day he's still going to, Tell them what to do. I want this and that, this and that. That's a different practice. If you want to study, then you can say, okay, I want to study. Uh, like I asked uh, 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 Andreas to, to do. You want to study that word? Morality. Uh, then you sit with it and you settle and you get into finer and see how that word presents itself at these finer and finer and finer dimensions. Uh, where, why, why am I going there? I forgot my point. Anyway, I'm, I'm very open to the intelligence of the creation. Remember it was created, uh, the great mind, the great she of creation uh, had this beautiful concept of creation. Boom, and she started. And then the stuff, I called it the, the he, uh, uh, she was pretty full of sense of how it should be. And he, the stuff said, oh, okay, boom, boom. And he balanced with her in his form. She had the idea, so to speak, and he had the building materials, so to speak. Uh, where am I going there? Uh, I just trust this, this harmony. I trust this intelligence. Uh, I trust that each dimension is finer and will produce finer. Uh, no matter where we are, you want to be a better swimmer, do this process. You want to be a better lover, do this. Or you want to be a better puncher, do this process. It doesn't matter. Do the process. Uh, you say, well, but punching is negative. Well, a puncher, if he does this, uh, okay, oh, sensei was a warrior. He used to kick ass and compete and blah, all that stuff. But then as he continued his process, uh, he got to a level of energies that were like, oh, loving protection. So even if you start off punching uh, and you continue to do the process, you're going to end up at, oh, loving protection or your version of it. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this stuff. <laughs> Thank you very long, much, Sensei. Long Thank you, Sensei. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank Are you very much, now? Sensei. Uh, okay, we're pooping out. Uh, it's completely up to you. I don't know if there's any yeah, more no, questions. If anybody wants to jump, we'll jump. If not, I'm going to go get... Sensei. Yes. This is Andrew from Aikido San Jose. Yes. So um, you talk about energies mixing and how you go through the levels and different energies are mixing. Um, let's say you're like... I've experienced this too. Let's say you're being pushed or let's say you don't know what en the energies are mixing or you're going to a, to a new level. Um, okay, well, stop for a moment. Body... Wait a minute, no, stop, stop for a moment. Remember, don't do too long questions for me. I'm, I'm very, <laughs> I'm not too bright. So let's take that first piece. 
Let me intercede there. Okay, first okay. Pete, uh, sometimes it's not clear as they mix who the who the character is. Just know there is a whoever it is here he is, and he's going to do what he does. Uh, you don't have to be that knowledgeable. I don't have to know. Uh, you can even do it that loose. That uh, I don't know. Loose is the right word, but okay. I settled. I open. I got a problem. I settled. I open. Energies are there. I have a sense of something activating here, and 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 they mix up a character. Now, if you can't quite catch the character, again, I'd hang out and continue the pump. There is a character here, and continue the pump. There is a character. You might not go too fast, and but I don't know. Uh, hang out with it. Let it pump for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. Let it thicken up for a while. Uh, don't be in a rush. Uh, so I would say that as the main trick. And then I would say, well, you really don't need it a certain way. Once you know somebody is here and I am it, and I'm going to do what I feel like doing right now, uh, then we sort of have to trust it. It's better than nothing. Makes now, sense. second phase of your question. Would your body tell you that there's a mix coming, like a physical sensation or something like that. Oh yeah, I sh were you not here? I did the wind tunnel game. Yes, I have. Be uh, I was here. Okay, I was trying to introduce people to get a feeling for one way of picking this up. It pushes you. That's why I did that. They so say, "Oh, there's a lot of energy here. How do I know?" Well, I I feel this little push. Okay, or I'm starting to get a little anxious. Oh wait, where did all that come from? There had to be mm -hmm. something before you got anxious. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, I call that a doorbell. And <laughs> if you settle and open, you begin to recognize the subtleties of that doorbell ringing. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that's, I tried to teach that to you by doing the wind tunnel game. Uh, I try to help a little bit when I, with the idea of standing better and then the energies of standing better. That's a simple level. But I was hoping by you feeling the energies coming up through the body to mix a standerer, that you start to feel the energies. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've done a million in Aikido, a million simple practices to try to get you to feel their energy. Mm -hmm. uh, first you stick your arm out okay we'll live with that now you settle down and boom and then we try to have you say okay now before all that move did you sense feel anything was there was there not a an activity someplace something uh, um, maybe a, a maybe I could say don't be too dense there don't be too thick it's not going to it's not going to knock you on the head like that. It's not going to scream in your ear. It's, it's a little more sensitive than that. That's why I call it sense feeling. Okay, if you're waiting mm -hmm. for it to burn off your body, uh, not normally, not normally. If you're waiting for it to scream in your ear like you're used to me, screaming in your ear, not really. It, it's more subtle than, than, than that. So that's up to you to settle down. Uh, you do it as a practice. Okay, I would like to hear energies coming at me through me better. I'm going to settle down and energies, would you come at me through me so I can begin to recognize you? And then you just settle down and you feel, if you feel anything. See, like right now, just playing that. I'm fast, of course. I've done this before. Uh, but I'm see, feeling a tingling, a light tingling through my fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay. There it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now what you'd probably should try to do is something human, like, uh, oh, maybe I made that up. Maybe I'm not feeling tingling. Uh, and then you start to screw the game up. So I just set the game up. I want to feel at a better level or earlier energies coming at me through me to cover the question that you're asking. So I settle for a little bit. Okay, now I would like to feel the energy. Energies, could you give me a hand here? I want to recognize you. I want to know when you're ringing my doorbell. I talk to them. They're intelligent. Hey, guys, activate for me. I need your help. 
Uh, again, I'm a kind of a tingling, but it's a little bit different kind. Oh, it's a kind of an in my body tingling. I think, I can't prove it, but I think my body just got a little bit warm or hard to tell because it's a hot day out here today. But I had a vague sense that my body got warmer. Was that it or did I make it up? Screw you, stop it. The smaller I is negative as hell, is a critiquer, won't let you do shit because he's too tight. Uh, play the game. Even if you make it up, that's okay, because the next day you'll go at it again and play the same game again. If it's not true, you'll never, you'll never see it again. But if it's there one day and there the next day and there the next day, you can probably figure, oh, that's a natural norm. Uh, mm -hmm. Play, play, play. Yeah. Watch out for a tighter eye. He negates everything. He's a negative son of a bitch. <laughs> so, Sensei, Thank I don't sensei. mean to be negative, but uh, we're past the 8 o'clock hour. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm